Now we can begin assembling some of the pieces to start making this look like a real sled. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. We can put this hood section together. These two pieces will join kind of like that. As you can see, I've got a bit of a seam there. Um, I had a little bit of warping on the, on this print. On the last one I did, that didn't warp at all. Um, so just be mindful of that. If your printer tends to uh, warp your flat surfaces, you might want to use a raft. Alright, so we're going to take some screws here. They don't have to be um, too terribly long. And they're going to go through here and then into that piece there. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, just like that. That piece should be nice and solid. And uh, we can set it aside for a moment. I also like to take these pieces here and uh, I'm gonna attach them here first. I'm doing that with some pretty short screws. You just want them, you want them to not stick through um, to where that track could hit them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So once we're at that point there, we can go ahead and grab our seat. Now's the time to feed our LEDs through. So we'll take those, we're going to feed them just through there. And then go ahead and attach the seat. Next we can go ahead and put this front shape here on. We could have actually put it on before the seat if, if we want. Uh, this, I'm going to take the uh, speed controller and receiver off real quick just to keep them kind of out of the way. Alright, so now with this shape here, it's just a matter we've got to get it kind of hooked around this um, transmission and then just real gently, you, you definitely don't need to force it make sure your LED lights aren't in the way either um, but real nice and easy we're just gonna work this around until it fits in place here And there we go, just like that. It it has now fallen into into its position. And then go ahead and just stuff that stuff down in there for now. We'll then take um, three screws and we will attach this in place. So that's done. We've got a screw here and then another one on the opposite side, and then a screw right there and uh, that's all it is to hold that on so I'll go ahead and do that now sweet so once you have it to that point we can go ahead and take these little pieces and they only fit one one way so that that doesn't work there Be careful with those tabs. They, uh, they're they a little fragile, but their only purpose is to kind of help align things. And once it's in place, um, they shouldn't break. But it is possible to break them if you try and force that in there. So just, just be soft with it and uh, slide that into place. Okay, and once you get it into place, you go ahead and grab a screw. And we'll run it through here and into the tunnel. Okay, 
and you should end up with a fit kind of like that. Now on the other side here, you'll want to put a little bit of grease on this gear before you put your cover on. Um, there's just there's a lot, a lot going on right there, and a little bit of grease is going to help those gears to not get too hot. Uh, I like to use just some cheap uh, marine grease. It's made for getting wet. And uh, just just a little bit on there to help uh, everything run smooth. All right, and then you can go ahead and put this piece into place. And there's that. We can go ahead now and finish our hood if you're doing LED lights. You want to go ahead and grab those lights and they'll go into these two holes here I know that's going to be hard to see but they just firmly push into that spot which gives you just a little bit of, of that LED poking out in the front and then uh, that's, that's all there is to that and then your little servo lead here we'll just plug into a port on your receiver and then that's that and we can also add our handlebars and these are printed in flexible so that we can squeeze that in like that and that's what we're going to do here we're going to squeeze those two sides so that, that fits down inside there just push it down in and there's a, a detent down inside that those catch onto. so once it's in there it's going to be in there nice and solid alright at this point you can go ahead and uh, fit your speed controller and uh, get everything plugged in here and that'll be um, really based on on your setup how it's how it's going to fit. I didn't design anything specific to just fit a, a specific motor into a very specific spot. It's I tried to leave as much open space as possible so that whatever choice you make on your items, you should be able to find a way to make that stuff fit in here. Um, it is it is a little tight, but you should be able to to find a way to make things fit. And so you'll figure out. I'm not going to go through that and waste time on the camera, but you'll figure out where to get that all to set. And then on your hood, you just got these two hooks here that hook on the front. And then you take this little knob here and it goes down through turn it and lock it in place okay now we've just got the last few accessories to uh, put on and we'll be all done alright so for your last few accessories it's really quite straightforward You've got your front bumper, which might be a good idea to print in flexible if I haven't already mentioned that. But um, so it'll just bolt on there, one screw on on each side. Foot rails come on the side here. Now on these foot rails, one screw is already in this screw here, so you need to take that screw out and put this foot rail it'll use that screw there and then another screw up front here your 
back bumper here just goes into place and two screws on each side there and then the snow flap here it's got a bit of a wedge shape here and that will slide in to a wedge shape slot in this blue uh, light piece here so uh, that's all there is to it I'm gonna just put all that on and be back in a second and there we have it congratulations if you've made it this far we've now got our completed sled all the accessories installed and it is ready for the snow I hope you're as excited as I am to get it out and uh, see how it goes happy riding